Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm going to show you this fun technique with motion. We're going to make motion slim cards and I want to show you a card that I made with this runner and I was like, oh, I want to make him running, like moving. And so I went ahead and made this one with a slit in it and so he is moving by himself so you know he can go backward and forward and my grandkids love this so I want to show you a card done with the legendary ride suite and making this and showing you the technique of making this so we're gonna first use our stamp and trimmer I'm gonna use foam adhesive strips and they come like in a long sheet and I just cut them and let me show you how to do this. So we're going to first make our slit. This was a mistake right here. This was like my first attempt at this technique and I made the slit too narrow. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my trimmer here and I'm going to go to the one inch line with this side of the card. So I'm going to take the actual blade and I'm going to look down at my card and I'm going to say, okay, I want to do a half an inch in. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little line right here and start with a half an inch in and I'm going to press down and it will go through the card and then I'm going to go all the way to this half inch line to from the zero to right here and I'm going to stop there. So right there. Then I'm going to move this over 3 eighths. So um, one, two, three, and I'm going to make another line. So if you can look right here, I've got one, two, three eighths, and I've lined that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and put, um, flip that over right where it was before and push it down. Go all the way across again to the half inch line again. Okay, then I'm going to open that up. Okay, then I'm going to take just little snips and I'm going to snip these two so that the, we have that channel made for our card. And if they don't match up, it's okay. They can have a diagonal at the end, it doesn't matter. So I've got my channel for my motion and all you're going to do is measure this and do it a quarter of an inch smaller. So I have a top piece right here and then a bottom piece. So it's just perfect because it goes right there on the top and the bottom. So let me go ahead and put those on. It's the ready to ride DSP paper. I love it because it goes so good with this suite. There are so many different designs and I already ran this through this metal palette 3D folder. And it's one of our silver foils. When you say it's the ready to ride DSP paper, I just saw that. So we've got the slit there. And now we're ready to go ahead and stamp. I'm using stays on to get a uh, bright black on here. Just checking to see I've got it. And I go ahead and stamp this part of the motorcycle down. And then I'm going to do the ready to ride. It's your birthday right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and punch the ready to ride it's your birthday because I'm going to kind of attach it to the motorcycle and I'm going to go ahead and do this. It doesn't matter if the, um, the bottom part is perfect on this because it's going to go behind the motorcycle. I went ahead and punched out the lasting label punch and cutting this out with the die machine and it's the ready to ride dies. I ran the flames through and this part of the dies too. And this is fun because it just cuts out just the chrome. And I went ahead and used some of that silver. And you can see right here, the silver, it's kind of like got a little purple tint to it. This is then the silver DSP, it's got three different brightnesses of silver. If you look on the back, I attached everything to the back. And the reason why is because when we pull this to go ahead and 
run it through to give the motion. That's why we want everything attached. So let me show you how I attach it for the motion. Okay, we've got our card right here and we've got this. So we're gonna want it to go right in this slot. I'm gonna put my motorcycle right where I want it and then just open the card and kind of grab it from the sides. And I'm really looking at the wheels. So I'm gonna grab one of these and I kind of want it to only go where the wheels go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all the way through to where the circle part of the wheels go. And then I'm gonna cut it because I don't want it to go all the way to the end of the wheel. So let me show you that. So it goes like this. And then you're gonna peel that off. And once it's peeled off, I'm gonna go ahead and put it through on this side. Now I have to have something on the other side to be the buffer, and that's what this is. It's just a half an inch piece, and it's gonna go ahead and, actually it's more like three quarters of an inch, and it's gonna go on the back side of the card. So we're gonna go ahead and put this through in the slit. Oops, we don't want to get the adhesive on there just yet. And then we're taking this piece and just putting it in the center. And this makes it so it can go back and forth on our card. So we've got that motion going. Now how can we do that if somebody doesn't know that that's it? Well, I went ahead and took a little bit of window sheet and I'm gonna go ahead and use a glue dot on both sides of the inside of the window sheet and it's gonna create that motion for our card. So just doing a dot, and then I will go ahead and put that inside that area. And because it's clear, it's not gonna show. And then they can grab that and make the motion go back and forth. So right on, it's your birthday. Look how cool that is. Let me show you a couple different options and that's the way it looks from the back. This one right here was done with just an X-Acto knife. So I did the first one on one side and tried to do the second one. It was a little bit harder to do. You had to have a shorter piece of the foam going there so it can do that. But went ahead and did that. It was just like an experiment. But I really like this one where it just goes straight back and forth. And that's the way it also goes with the little runner. So here's the first card that kind of got me the inspiration. And isn't it fun to be able to, to do that interaction with the movement back and forth instead of having it just like this? It's just really fun to be able to have that motion in your cards. Hope you've enjoyed our slim card ideas with the motion. If you like any of these products, click the links below. So hope you've enjoyed our Watch It Weekly Wednesday, and we'll see you next time.